Hey guys, uh, this is Merrick again. Um, today we'll be talking about how to build a full SciTech home uh, cockpit. Uh, I started with a few uh, SciTech panels um, back about three years ago or so. And um, I think first one was uh, of course the Yog, then there was um, a radio, then there was a switch panel, you know, but it was kind of messy. Uh, they were just laying around without any, uh, you know, organization. So, so I decided to to put everything together and, and and make it look really nice, really neat, clean, organized. Um, and I was looking for a solution about how to do it by myself. But um, you know, I decided eventually I'm gonna go with with uh, something uh, that just popped out on the market and which was the um, the advanced pilot training uh, panel from from pilotmall.com uh, and that was my my base um, from from uh, then on everything went pretty smooth pretty easy that uh, that that panel um, that panel is designed for for SciTech equipment, um, so if you if you have if you have a SciTech radios or switch panel or, or the autopilot, you know this is something that you really want to go with. Um, the the bad thing about it is not uh, is not cheap. It's about uh, three hundred uh, and twenty dollars, I believe, right now. Um, but it's really worth it, you know. It's it's a, it's pretty good, pretty steady, um, and makes it look um, makes it looks um, pretty pretty neat. So let's start from the from the beginning. Uh, like I said, there was the um, the flight training cockpit uh, advanced panel, which was about uh, three hundred and twenty dollars. Um, then you need to have. Um, some type of a shelf. Uh, I use two uh, two shelves for it. One is a uh, one for monitors. It's a longer one, and um, a little bit more more narrow. And then uh, the bigger one is um, actually the shorter one, but a wider one is the one that I have my uh, my panel um, sitting on. So you need two, you need two shelves. With the uh, first one has three brackets. The second one I don't know if you. A, if you are able to see or not, uh, I think you are. As a uh, has a two brackets. Um, the mounting the advanced uh, panel is pretty straightforward. It's like I said, it's designed for um, for SciTech uh, equipment. So when the when the yoke uh, there is a little opening over here, there's a little hole. So when the when the yoke comes in, you know you kind of um, adjust it by uh, by using that little knob over here. And it sits pretty good, actually. You know, it doesn't move. So, like I said, designed f uh, strictly for for SciTech, everything matches perfectly. And you know, like I said, if you wanna, if if you already own a couple of SciTech panel, and if you wanna put the setup together, this is something you wanna go with. Um, then the next thing uh, you need to have, of course, there are three, um, or depending how many you need, but I have uh, three monitors. And in my other video, I explained um, how to put those monitors uh, together, how to make them work. And actually, there are five monitors, but um, those three are, are running from the, um, the main card, and then the, the two other ones from uh, from the secondary card. But this is not something we want to be talking about um, today. We're going to talk strictly about uh, the hardware here. So uh, three Asus monitors. Um, each was um, each was 191 dollars. So total was a 573 dollars for uh, for three monitors. Then uh, I have a um, for instrument panel. I use a hand spree. It's H A N N S P R E E, and the code for it is H L H L one six one. ABB and this is a 16 inch LED monitor um, the designer of that uh, advanced training panel recommends that particular monitor because um, because it will fit perfectly um, and that's something you um, you know you want to go with because it's 
relatively cheap you'll be you know having uh, plenty of other expenses here so so this one is a pretty cheap i think it was 80 dollars on amazon.com uh, and um it works just fine no problems you know um, it maybe you know it's not a greatest monitor ever built but for for that purpose of having the instruments here uh, on the display is just fine um next little feature i have over here is uh it's a um it's a tablet tablet desk clamp and it works for uh seven to eight and a half inches uh tablets it's called the purex uh technology and it was a 21 dollars 95 cents on amazon i use it to uh, display my charts and you know uh, this is such a nice way of uh, of having everything uh, handy everything uh, um, you know right here when you need it uh, next panel we're gonna be talking about is the uh, BIP it's also SciTech BIP panel um, or beep uh, that was hundred and fifteen dollars and forty eight cents you'll have uh, all the um, messages display on that panel you, you know um, this is beacon light on or uh, off, gear down, uh, and nav lights are on. But here, using my switch panel, I can, you know, I can uh, put different uh, things on. The strobe lights on or something. It will tell you if anything is unsafe. Uh, if the, if the landing gear is, let's say, unsafe, if the, if the oil pressure is uh, high, uh, and so on. Uh, next one uh, will be a. Um, um, Cytec ProFlight instrument panel, and in this setup, you 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 know you only one because you have a monitor over here. But uh, the good thing you can switch between different um, different uh, options here. You can have different type of ga gauges uh, displayed on that panel. If you don't want to go with a monitor, uh, the designer of the of uh, flight training uh, panel. Um, let you have uh, this uh, gauges there too uh, I think there are, I don't know if you can see or not those are little uh, quadrats here and behind the monitors you have uh, six of them and then um, uh, one two three four five six and then additional three over here correction four with that one so you can have up to ten gauges if you decide not to go with a monitor um, but that's um, that's pretty that's pretty expensive because one of those uh, uh, flight instrument um, gauges costs about 125 dollars. So if you want to have, you know, 10 of them, that's a 1,200 dollars. Well, you do the math. The monitor is 80, and then the panel, uh, the one of those gauges is uh, 120. So for 200 dollars, I have a full set as well. Uh, next one is um, next one is a Cytec Pro Flight instrument uh, a correction pro flight multi-panel and um, this is auto, your auto, autopilot uh, and also you have uh, the auto throttle options here you have the flaps and you have a pitch trim you can have a pitch trim uh, also on the um, um, on the yoke I don't know if you can see it but I use that for my trim that's more handy um, but uh, that panel, uh, the Cytec switch panel, uh, correction, it's not a switch panel, I'm talking about a switch, switch panel all the time. It's a, it's a, a Cytec Pro Flight multi panel. It's $132. Next one, uh, I have uh, two sets of radios, um, they're also from Cytec. Everything on this panel is from Cytec, except for the monitor, of course. But uh, those two radio panels uh, cost. Um, hundred and twenty dollars each so we're talking about a two hundred and forty dollars that um, I have to mention that that uh, that that desk desk the panel that training panel uh, comes with only uh, room for three of those um, um, sighted panels but what I did here I needed a four I wanted to use um, you know instead of switching between uh, all the options here on the radio I wanted to have two of them so I have easy access to you know to all the options here uh, let's say the radio on the radio one I, I keep it on the you know nav one the, on this one on the radio two I keep it uh, nav two that's where I have my you know VOR frequencies or ILS frequencies and then on this one below um, I use it for uh, DME 
and uh, ADF uh, frequency. So this one right here will be uh, ADF frequency, and the one below over here will be a DME. You know, you can go with the third set of radios. You, could, you will be able to have a transponder, let's say, on, but I think that's a little bit too much. Three, uh, two, uh, two is enough. And see the the fourth panel I have sitting on the um, uh, on the flight training cockpit advanced panel is um, is a Cytec, uh switch panel, and that was at ninety three dollars. Uh, also from from Amazon. I, I'm gonna turn the light on here so you guys can see a little bit better. You know. Um, that that's really nice at night uh, when you have all the lights off and you have only the red light on. You just you just feel like in a real plane. Um, so here, what you get here is uh, your uh, I don't know if you can see it good or not. You have master uh, master switch. This is uh, your uh, battery and alternator. Uh, then you have avionics master, fuel pump, uh, DI speedo heat, and then uh, cow flaps and all the lights, beacon light, uh, nav light, strobe light, taxi light, and then the landing light. And then you have a, your landing gear lever. And so like I said, that was my my idea. That panel is not, uh, um, that, that advanced training panel does not have the space for that fourth panel over there. So I had to drill a bunch of holes. Actually, I had to cut a piece from here. Uh, in order to fit that that fourth panel, but I think it's just you know it's nicer to have to have it like that. I'm gonna turn this light on for now. Okay, well let's move it to uh, to the center console as I like to call it. I have my um, I have uh, pretty much three things sitting on here. I have my GPS, my throttle uh, um, throttle prop RPM and mixture quadrants, and I have also a three switch panels. Those switch panels, as you see here, one was removed. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I broke uh, one switch and it went back to the manufacturer, which is a desktop aviator. Very nice company, very helpful service over there. Um, very good customer support. Um, and also that GPS comes from the desktop aviator. The desktop aviator GPS was a uh, $275. And it comes uh, in the form of a little plate here. So you see there is a, like a little box over here. I had to build the box myself. Uh, so it comes with a, you know, uh, death, death plate with the monitor and the switches. And then in the back there is um, and there is the whole interface over there. So, but it's kind of empty. It's kind of naked, the interface. So, so I had to build a little protection and I came up with the idea of building this little box. Um, I have two two throttle quadrants for multi-engine planes. Um, uh, one came with the one came with the with the yoke, and the yoke itself was uh, also from Amazon. Uh, was at 139 dollars. The extra Cytec throttle quadrant uh, will be a 48 dollars and 29 cents. And those little panels, um, you know, are from also like I said before from uh, desktop aviator, and they're 60 dollars each. And those are LED. Uh, uh, LED switches here and you know I have different functions assigned to, to it and, you know I can switch between DME 1 and 2 let's put some lights to it um, DME 1, 2, GPS uh, NAV, yo damper, landing uh, gear manual, extension, proper feather camera, uh, different camera views and here I have a spoilers Flight director uh, switching between uh, oh, you know there is a nav one a identification marker and ADF identification and here I got more in that panel. Um, so the whole uh, cost of building this equipment was uh, two thousand three hundred and seventy dollars, and this is not including the uh, computer. Uh, okay, guys, uh, the time is up. I have about four or thirty seconds more uh, for that video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, if you have any questions, please um, you know send me questions in the comments, and I'll try to answer everybody as much as I can. I'm not a computer expert, but I I uh, I try my best. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.